Okay, good question. So should this patient be co-prescribed with PPI? So NICE guidance suggests that we should only co-prescribe a PPI if a patient has high risk factors for GI adverse effects. What are they? Typically, a patient who is of older age, so 75 or more, if they have any history of gastroduodenal ulceration, perforation or GI bleeding, if they have H. pylori infection, if they are on any other medication which may increase the risk of GI bleed, so uh, a second antiplatelet, anticoagulants, any NSAIDs, SSRIs or maybe steroids, and if they are on a high dose of aspirin which is typically 75 milligrams or more. So in this particular scenario this patient is 46 so they're not of older age, they aren't on any other medication that may increase the risk of GI bleeds and they're on low dose aspirin which is 75 milligrams. The two, p the two pieces of information that we don't have is whether they have got any history of bleeding or ulceration as well as if they have got H. pylori infection but with the limited information we do have we could potentially say that they can um, have this medication safely without the need of a PPI um, but we can always ask the patient or contact the GP to find out more information. Hope that helps.